hello welcome back to C programming tutorials ok here we have another program to see some file attributes See, uh, in this uh, program we have some new header files included so time.h that we have seen already in the previous program it is having some functionalities related with the time so if you want to get the present time GMT time and we can use the functions which are all prototype in time.h h. of course now you will be knowing what is std stdio.h is prototyped it is prototyped with the print of scan of functions and there are many other functions and constants conio.h is a console input output operations just clr cr get ch and all those stuffs are prototyped in conio.h we have another uh, header file types.h Uh, here we have uh, some pre uh, time underscore t there is another uh, another constant defined time uh, dot uh, time underscore t let us see it once again types dot h yeah it's a variable uh, type defined defines the value used for time functions so the time related values the values for the time can be stored in this data type so that is defined in the types dot h and we have start dot h in this header file we have we are having some uh, functions like f start s start and all and some uh, bits start structure some variables also declared let us see how we are going to use these header file prototypes in our program ok here in this main uh, function we have we have some variables declared first of all we have a character array file ok regularly we are using this file array for storing the name of the file and here we will be using double slash so that we should be able to keep at least one slash when it is being sent to the operating system so our ultimate aim is to open a file c colon, c colon slash hello dot text we have created a file in this name in our previous video so hopefully that file will be there in the system then we have one more array called t of 100 size and we have initialized it as null and we have a structure stat and the variable name structure stat and the variable name is b to get the start structure we have and start function also the structure contains information about the file or array uh, directory uh, use uh, f start and s start function see structure s start is having some variables so in which we are having the details about the file and as well as we are having the details about the time of creation of the file and time of modification of this file etc so we are using this variable for storing the file details the other attributes of the file other attributes in the sense when we are generally looking we are looking only for the contents inside the file but other than that there are some details like the type of file and the time created time and date and all and the permissions all those details are the other details ok if not if uh, set yes, set is a function if you give a set with an argument file the file which we are having that is c colon slash hello dot text comma m and b b is the pointer to the type s stats so that is a structure so if you use a function if you are getting something 
if you are getting some value if it is if there is some value then we have to see we we can uh, see the time uh, local time of the system uh, sorry local time of the creation of the file and we can display the last modified date of the file when the file is created or the last modified date if you have modified the file that also will be marked in the file the other details other than the real contents of the file and suppose if you are not able to use the file cannot display that file we are going to display this message and exit let us try this program by running it last modified time and date is 28 2011 and the time is 16.27.50 that was the time that we have modified that file for the last time chance if you want to access some file attributes then you can use this technique uh, to get the attributes of the file when that file is last updated or last modified so this type of programs may not be required every time for all the users and if you wanted to do some file operations the deep uh, type of advanced type operations in the C programming then you may be using these files ok hope you have enjoyed this video uh, please try this program by yourself and if you have any doubt in this program and if you want any general cl clarification about C programming please feel free to contact me and my email id id underscore teacher1 at yahoo.com thank you for watching this video have a nice day